Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is me with Wolf Express Transports. So, today, uh, actually for the last three days now, my truck won't stop regening constantly. So, we have to take the truck into the shop. Uh, we're on a load right now, so we have to finish this load up. Uh, but, yeah, it just will not stop regening. Oh, actually, it just got done. After the regen, my sit level is still this high. So, I'm pretty sure that the uh, DPF needs to be baked and cleaned out. Uh, but it's going to continue to keep doing this uh, once it gets any, anywhere between the 2 and the 3 is when it's... Uh, ready to tell me to do a parked regen and sometimes it wants to do it sometimes it doesn't good morning YouTube I just wanted to show you how we make our morning coffee I just woke up and definitely need the coffee this morning so we have our water heating up in our tea kettle which is an electric tea kettle and it's pretty quick and efficient um, we do our small French press we got some cups that we use with the um, lids because we don't want any spills when we have it up front driving. And then of course our almond creamer, it's just by Silk, that seems to be the most popular. I'm gonna add three scoops to the French press and we got lovely Starbucks coffee, thanks to my friend Sheila. When we're in Washington, um, she stops and gives us back some coffee because she works there and she gets a lot free. Mm, it's a little bit more than three, but that's okay. I could use the extra strength this morning. All right, water's all set. So we just put our top on the French press and I just let mine sit with it at the top so that the coffee can steep or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Alright, so we let the coffee sit for about four minutes and I'm going to push the plunger down. Nice and slow. And I've already added some of my silk almond creamer to my cup. It smells so good. A trick I like to do is shaking up the almond creamer before I pour it in the cup. Then it makes it all foamy like that. Like I feel like I'm getting something ordered out instead of just something I made on the truck. Pop the lid on and there you have it. Alright everyone, it is lunchtime and I am starving. So what I'm going to do is make some mashed potato veggie bowls and I'll show you along the way of how I do it. Hi everyone, it's lunch time. What are we going to have today? Mashed potato veggie bowls. Let me show you how it's done. Alright, I'm going to start off with some Brussels sprouts and I've already cleaned them and cut the ends off. I am going to spray them with a little bit of the Pam Super Stick cooking spray because they're going to go in the air fryer. I'm also going to season them with a little bit of Mrs. Dash. Toss them around in the bowl and throw them in the air fryer for about 10 to 15 minutes um, and get them nice and crispy. Okay, so the Brussels sprouts are done 
and they're nice and crispy and yummy looking with uh, Mrs. Dash and the avocado oil cooking spray. They were cooked in the air fryer for about 10 minutes and this is how they turned out. The next thing I did is I took some super firm um, tofu, pressed it, cut it into cubes, and now I'm just um, dipping it in some flour and then I'm going to spray it again with the avocado oil and put it in the air fryer and make it nice and crispy for the top of the bowl. Alright, so I took four russet potatoes and I'm peeling them, I'm going to dice them up and then I'm going to put them in the pressure cooker to boil them to make the mashed potatoes. All right, potatoes are cooked. We do not have a masher on the truck, but I take the spatula and chop them up because they're so um, cooked down um, from the pressure cooker. Add just a little bit of butter. Okay, who am I kidding? A lot of butter. And some Mrs. Dash, and we also add everything bagel seasoning. Sounds funny, but oh my gosh, it's the best. So, when I get it all assembled after I make the gravy, I will show you more. All right, I have everything ready and now it's time to assemble. So my mashed potatoes go down first. And this is gonna be Nathan, so we're gonna give him a hefty portion. And then we have our fried tofu. Brussels sprouts and our green beans. All right, and then we got a little bit of corn to go on the side here. When we're all done dishing the corn up, we are going to add the gravy. And of course, I made the gravy from scratch. So just a little butter, flour, and better than bouillon um, seasoning, which you really don't need any more than that. And you just thin it out with water. I used also the potato water to give it that um, thickness as well. And here we go. You can add as little or as much gravy as you'd like. I know Nathan loves a lot of gravy, so I will give him a bunch. All right, there you have it. I'll let Nathan be the taste tester. So as always, food was amazing. I'm gonna end this video here. If you haven't yet, like, subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell notification and I'll catch y'all later.